Friday night lights are dim this weekend after a shooting near Hales Franciscan High School on Chicago's south side. Players from both teams hit the ground to avoid the gunfire as fans ran from the stadium. CBS 2's Audrina Bigas talked to parents and school administrators about what comes next. You don't even want to sit in the stands because you start to think twice. Are we in danger at a football game? And we shouldn't have to live like that. Friday night lights turned to blue police lights. Yeah, I was supposed to be a ref. Phil Smith was also going to watch his son Eric play his first high school football game. As I drove down the street and saw the police and the multitude of ambulances and fire trucks, my first thought was something bad has happened. And it did. Just outside Hales Franciscan's grounds on Chicago's south side, three people shot, including two teens near 50th and Cottage Grove. Witnesses at the game say they heard at least 20 to 30 shots just before 7 in the evening. And they all hit the ground. Players, cheerleaders, and fans cleared the football field and stands. Two visiting teams were set to play, Hansbury College Prep and Metro East Lutheran, out-of-towners who traveled hours to get to the game. People should not be afraid to come here. But now I guess the message goes out that people are other teams are afraid to come to Chicago and we shouldn't have that. No one at the game was hurt but shaken up and disappointed to start the season like this. When it gets to the point where you can't even enjoy sports as a kid because of the violence it really shatters their 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 mindset. It's a sad day in Chicago. So the game was canceled and Hansberry College Prep sent the fan bus home right away and players had to wait inside the school until police cleared the scene and the area. Now school administrator didn't want to talk on camera but told me six to eight CPS security guards were at the game. CPS did not return our messages. Live in the newsroom, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. My thank you, Audrina.